Hi everyone, it's Julia from Julia's Bento, and thank you for joining me in another face-to-face -face video. Um, I know it's been a while, although I don't know if that's such a bad thing or not, but I have been getting some requests, so <laughs> there it is. Um, so for my first video for uh, fall 2014, I decided I'm going to cover all things Hobonichi because that are that is the most requested I've been getting um, because of course the 2015 Hobonichi covers had just come uh, come out about a month ago and we are all sort of still in that craze so let's begin the first one that uh, I've, I've gotten a request about was the the life book like what's inside of it it's basically you have your catalog bit, um, you know, that you have online. So all the covers that are available for 2015. A few pics about uh, the different inserts and what's covered inside the inserts. A little illustration. And then the back half is really about usage. Uh, kind of showcase a person and how they utilize it. So that was really cool. And I know they have this on those sort of things on their website as well. But it's really nice to have this little tactile book and leaf through it and I just I just love having things in my hand of course I can see eye candy online but it doesn't be eye candy in your hands so if you haven't ordered it yet or you're on your first second or third order I'd say throw it in it's fun it's a fun thing okay the other thing that a lot of folks have been asking me are what do I use in my hobo nichi um I use a lot of this. I mean, it's really cheap. It's your Artist Loft basic watercolor. I don't know, it's like maybe $10 over here in the US. Um, you can get it at Michael's. But that being said, I when I, when I see folks in uh, you know Australia and you know other countries, I think it's just rebranded, but it, there is the set out there, very simple. Uh, you know, I just take the, the mopping brush, you know, the really fat brushes, and put a lot of water on it, activate the paint, and just, you know, use, utilize it as a background. I'll just throw it on, you know, just paint some backgrounds or splash things, and it's really simple and it's fun to do. So I definitely recommend just getting a basic set. When I'm feeling a little bit more adventurous, I'll just play around with the other things that I have. Uh, this one is Dr. P.H. Martin's The Radiant Concentrate Watercolors, really bright amazing color so if you know if you feel like playing around with these more it's it's just definitely I would recommend the other main thing I utilize is this fountain pen here it's a Lamy all-star uh, fine point pen and um, you know I'm very proud of myself because this is one of my first real fountain pens <laughs> and I got myself an ink converter because I looked it up online. And it's basically one of these piston things and so you just stick it in your ink and then suck it up. And then you throw it in. And I didn't spill or make a mess, so yes. I was proud of myself. <laughs> Anyways, I use the Noodlers Black Waterproof Ink and it works fabulously. It's very juicy and of course you keep throwing in the ink. Um, I find that to be a lot more palatable than my microns, I mean, you still get the finer tips on these, but I just find them to be more dry or they dry up quickly and, you know, they're expensive. So uh, the more of these you can get, I think, the better. Um, and you can control and your own ink and all that stuff. So there's that. The other pens I utilize quite a bit is once I'm already done with any sort of wet media, or if I want to paint with these pens, I utilize a lot of high tech C's and Muji pens. Um, what I kind of like about the new Muji is there's some really like slightly different shaded uh, colors. So I don't know if you're ever at Muji, there's um, you know a little bit darker shade of the pinks and things like that. So these are really fun to use. Um, occasionally, I, I'll still use the watercolor markers brush tip markers. Those work for me. Um, and recently I got, I mean, yeah, I've never had Stabilos before, but they, they had these neon pack somewhere and uh, decided to try it. They're just fun. You know, you have your 
Uh, it, it's a set where it had a fine tip as well as a slightly bigger tip. Um, so it's separated markers. This is not dual markers like a lot of our ones are out there. But this is the neon set, and they're they're fun. I'll show you some stuff in that. Um, and let's talk about jelly rolls. Uh, I never quite liked it. <laughs> I've had I've had these uh, white ones um, in the past because you know this is what a lot of artists recommend in terms of highlighting. But I felt like it, it ate into the paint a lot. I did a lot of mixed media before, so I just didn't like it. But then recently. Yeah, neon again. I, I saw a package of these neon um, jelly roll pens. And I thought, you know what? Let's give it another shot. So I played around with it, and it's fun. I, I mean, the tip is still kind of too fat for me. I really like fine lines. But in terms of like doodling and just whatever, playing around with it, it was really smooth and just fun. So now I, I get it. I get why you people like jelly roll pens. So. These are really fun, and then you know your basic other mark. I don't know, like Muji markers, and then the what do you call these? The Paper Mate flare pens. That's fun. My daughter um, apparently used these at school, and she wanted me to get a pack, so they're here. Um, occasionally, I still do use my Poscas in my hobo. This is one of the main things. Uh, I'm from the Hobonichi site. I was able to get these markers. I forgot the name is. But it says touch on it. But really, really smooth. Um, I'll show you a tip. So this is the tip. It's a little bit softer than a normal marker. But uh, they're fun to play with. So I got the two different uh, color palettes. Which they only had two. So <laughs> these are two different color palettes that I got for that. Um, and of course I use washi tape. Ooh. And of course washi tape. This is from their site as well. It's like little butterflies. Um, this one is as well. And uh, I've been into utilizing those diary stickers again. A lot of these tend to be from Korea, which I thought was interesting. Anyway, there's that. Um, and I know some of, some of you have asked, for, asked me to do another flip through. And I know I've done something before. Um, I don't know where I left off. But oh, that's not a good one. <laughs> but anyways, I've been sort of into... Uh, quickly sketching out authors that are out there. This is just crazy lady. And I was playing around with the pencil again because originally I didn't like pencil, how it looked inside on the Tomo River paper, but it's actually not too bad. Um, so I've been sketching around with that and you'll see it again later. Uh, so yeah, your watercolor, and then this is probably like a watercolor brush. And another author, Virginia Woolf here. And I've been playing around with different black inks. Um, so, you know, some of it will be the noodlers. Some of it will just be the sumi with the, you know, brush. Um, I've just been playing around with all different kinds of blacks to see what I really enjoy. Um, still trying to figure that out. And I was just playing around with throwing down some black and using my silver pen. I think it's not a bit. And of course, you know, this this is simple. It's again just the black lamy and then this. I'm doing some of these illustrations. There's Neil Gaiman. This is fringe. I finally got caught up on fringe. <laughs> so I was doing that. Um just playing around, dueling, a little bit of illustrative. I saw something and then did that. Um this is Jane Austen. Some more writing. No, KFC. Um, who's this guy? Lewis Carroll. <laughs> Lewis Carroll. <laughs> um, uh, you, you, and then I started doing an artist, George O'Keefe. And then just some doodles from my favorite Linda Berry. Uh, I find, follow her Tumblr site, so sometimes for inspiration, I've been doing a lot of, uh, you know, her assignments that she gives her students. Again, some more illustrations. 
playing around with the new logo. Minty page. And so here's some more pencil stuff. It's a self-portrait. It's a bit odd. I think I made my face thinner. But anyway. <laughs> Um, that's kind of where I'm at, you know, I'm just, oh, this is my niece and my nephew. They came down to visit me, um, and my kids and they had a blast. So that was fun. So this is my hobo right now. My little flip through that I promised, uh, maybe I'll do one more in depth another time. But anyways, so that's where this is at right now. And look how fat it is. It's so fun. I, you know, I, I see these, these fabulous people online from Japan who've had like four or five years of this already and they just have a stack of these and it looks so great. Can't wait until my collection grows. And so what did I get so far? Um, I was just gonna go smaller. I was gonna go smaller and I was operative word. So I, I got the A6. This is the A5 for those of you who don't who don't know. So this is the A5 and this is the A6. Big difference when you're holding it. I took some pictures too because I don't know why, but it's different. When you have it down on your table and people are taking shots of, you know, their, their stuff on the table, you don't really see the size difference. But for some reason, when I was looking online uh, on the new covers this year and they had pictures of people using it and holding it, I'm like, Whoa, is, is the cousin really that big? Because, you know, people would hold it like this. And I'm just like, wow, they're huge. <laughs> and, I, and then I looked at mine, I'm like, oh, yeah, they are huge. So I thought it's fun if, like, um, I'd love it if people would take some shots of, you know, themselves with their hobo. Just to kind of see it in, in a different light instead of just the flat picture. I'd love to see how it looks like as you're holding it around. So anyways, so this is what I got, and I got the Avec inserts, which is basically divided into, you know, two, so first half of the year, second half of the year, and it's lovely. It's really thin, the small one, and then I got the weekly calendar separately because you don't get it in the Avec, plus I like this to be more um, portable in the sense I could just take it out for like any, you know, the laundry list of things to do. That's great. That's why I have, I've been still utilizing my Midori diary um, because I just take it out and travel around with that. But I mean, this is really small and portable. It's thin. But that being said, I wasn't sure if my daughter was going to continue next year, to be honest with you. So I didn't purchase her one. But I was told last night that I, I should buy her one. <laughs> so now I'm wondering. If I should continue on with the A6 for next year, like I thought I was gonna do, or if I should go back to this, now that I, knowing that um, the Avec inserts are so thin. So that's something I'm gonna be pondering upon as I do my second order um, on if whether or not I'm gonna go back to this size. I mean, I think, I guess, hindsight, right? When I'm gonna have my collection, it'd be nice to all have the same size. So, I think I might do that. Anyways, something to think about. But this is really fun. I got this cover, and then in terms of the lottery, those of you who don't know lottery, there's some um, covers on the Hobo site that um, they have limited amounts, and the first way they could do it is, uh, you know, you order, you get put in the lottery, and then you get ch chose randomly. Um, I did the lottery for the piece cover. It has like patchwork on it um, for both this size and the larger size. And I didn't win the A5 one, but I won the A6 one. So for that, I want to utilize as um, my a little, I have, I bought the little sketchbook thing. So the, the Tomo River Paper sketchbook thing for the A6. So that's what I'm going to use for the piece cover. And then this one, I'm thinking I'm going to give to my daughter. And then, you know what, as I'm talking to you right now, I think I'm going to end up getting another one of these. Just got to figure out the cover I'm going to get now. And so, uh, I think that pretty much wraps up all things hobo for now. It's been a long, rambling uh, video, I know. Um, but anyways, it's good to see everyone. 
in YouTube land. And uh, thanks for stopping by. And thanks for the lovely comments I've been getting on Instagram, JSL Kim, and also Tumblr, also JSL Kim. I think that's my thing. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I, I really appreciate all the uh, lovely words. And um, the sharing in the community has been fantastic. So... If, if you're not involved, pop on by and uh, post. We'd love to see your stuff. Again, it's the Hobonichi Techo Eye Candy Group on FB. And uh, hope to see you there. Take care. Bye.